In all her biographies that have been written so far, the Munshi is painted as this horrible character. He's, you know, there's, there's no doubt about it. He is, there is no black and white. He is just a black character. <laughs> he's, he's uh, manipulative. I mean, he was all of these things, but, you know, there's no effort to get into it and see what he went through in court either. So it is a bit one-sided. And I think by, you know, when I was researching it, I found that there was a lot that he had to face. There was a lot that he brought on upon himself, but uh, he was young, he was just 24. It would go to anybody's head, you know, if the queen chose you and made, made you the special one. Well, he was very attached to his family. He was devoted to his father and his father went for the Anglo-Afghan wars. So he was summoned. He was a, um, a hospital assistant and he went with, uh, with the troops. And Karim, who was just a young boy of 17 or 18 at that time, he traveled with him. So he was always a keen traveler. He went to Kabul. He went all the way to the Northwest. And um, when they sent him back because they had to really go into the front line, uh, he came back all alone and he was just a young boy. Abdul Karim used to actually work in Agra jail. He was a clerk in Agra jail, uh, but he was noticed by his superior, John Tyler, who was the, the doctor at the jail, and uh, because he had helped him organize all the material for the colonial and Indian exhibition, which traveled um, to England. And Abdul Karim had helped organize the artisans, uh, the carpet weavers, and uh, he'd shown a little bit of enterprise, so he'd, um, he, he sort of noticed him. And he decided that for the Jubilee, which was the next year, he would like to send a present for Queen Victoria. And uh, as it happens, he thought he'd send two Indian servants. <laughs> he thought he would still go and do some, you know, he would be an orderly and uh, get to ride behind the Queen. He, some of it was lost in translation, I guess. He didn't really know what he was going to do. Uh, but he was trained for the job. Um, he wasn't very good in English, obviously. He'd never been formally educated. He had just been taught by a mullah. So while he was well-versed in the Quran, uh, his English wasn't up to scratch.